I lied, it was more than 30 seconds. <laughs> well, welcome, ever welcome in everybody. We had Titans, Hacker, Mac, and Potato in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Hope you all are doing well today. Are the emote things always on the Starting Soon screen? I added it like a week ago. So it's on the Starting Soon screen. And then it's also on the ending screen now. Just so you guys have like something to look at, you know what I mean? It's, so it's not like a static overlay anymore. And um, and then it encourages you guys to spam, which keeps the chat active, which is good in the first few minutes. And then not necessarily as important at the end of a stream, but still it's important during like the first few, like the first 10 minutes. Because, like, Twitch pushes your notifications out to more people if, like, a lot of people click on it right away or if you have, like, a good handful of people join your stream right when you start. So, yeah. Anyway, um, today, of course we're doing Marker. I'm going to do the hardest challenge I've ever faced because, as some chatters know, I might have a tournament this weekend. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So I gotta practice, I gotta try hard today. W's only today. Um, before I get started, I wanna quickly plug the art channel. If everybody watching right now could click the banner in chat to go follow, go follow. Um, we'll be live on that channel again Friday. For a little update, I'm working on this painting offline. So I started on coat two of the black. So I got coat 2 done for about this part right here. And you can see how two coats make the black more opaque. It looks... This looks so nice. I'm still debating if I want to add more details, but... I don't know. I don't know. And if you want to see more, like, things specifically about art, I have separate accounts on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for art. On IG, it's peacein underscore art underscore. You'll get... Not daily postings, but whenever I work on stuff offline, I'll post it in, like, the stories. Shameless plug, of course! You know, that's... That's what you gotta do. You gotta keep plugging. I need to zoom in a bit. So I don't like all the empty space for my head. So twice. You're right here, because there was, like... See how there's, like, two inches of space over my head? Okay, enough stalling. Let's play some goddamn Mario Kart. Oh, old overlay is back. Um, I haven't played for two weeks. <laughs> so. Let's get back to it. Mirror mode? I think, no. Oh, wait. I thought I got three stars in everything. Oh, wait. The challenge I did before was like 200 CC three stars. That's why I don't have all of them in... Oh, I thought I had all in 50. Anyway, 50 is boring. 50 is for scrubs. Excuses? They're not excuses. Who wants to watch me play in 50cc? Type 1. If I see a single one, you're literally brain dead. Okay, we're doing 200 because we're not fucking plebs. I'll do, because like I need to practice online, so I'll do like two pre's with computers. Okay. I don't think they've announced, like, an official release date for Wave 3, right? I really hope so. Let's start here today. So we're gonna be doing a prediction every single race. Hey, chatters, go Gamba. Do you think I would get first place on the first race of the day? By doing all of 150, get the same amount of stars for 150. What? <laughs> I don't think it matters. I don't care. Because, like, the only thing I really need to practice is 200. Get fucked? Because I feel like when you play online, 150 seems like 200cc because, like, the lag. 
It almost feels like everything is so much faster. Oh! That was crazy! Dude, how do we have no believers? You guys are literally so mean. Am I not the world's best Mario Carter? Dude, 200cc goes crazy. I love it so much. Whenever I play with my sister, she always insists we do- Fuck, that was horrible line. She always insists we do 150 and it's so annoying. And anytime I do convince her to play 200cc, she gets really mad because she's bad at it. <gasps> okay, still got on in. We're good. We're set. Dude, wait. Look at the back. Look, I'm literally- so far ahead right now, I'm like leagues ahead of everyone. No items? Oh, hold. Hold. Ruh -roh. Okay, when I started stream today, all my capture cards worked on the first try, which is unheard of. Politely hold. Hey, yo, we're back. Guys, I'm a pro streamer. That's weird that the game blacked out. Because usually the camera fucks up. See, I feel like technology has advanced so much, I don't understand why it fails sometimes. Why can't they just make the best product available? Oh, come on, come on! Easy. Like, I feel like they intentionally release, like, a really bad- Okay, not a really bad. But not the best, like, phone or laptop every year just so you buy the newest model in a year or two. Actually, scams. <clears throat> did I get first? Of course I did. Your new prediction, go Gamba. Okay. So, if it turns out that I actually do have the tournament on Saturday, will you guys cheer me on? I mean, like, the thing is... I don't know what the other player's skill level is. Because apparently it's, like, for casuals, it's not for sweats. So I feel like I have somewhat of a chance... Because the only thing that I really need to genuinely work on is, like, just making sure my lines are the best they can be. Oh! Dude, I almost clutched that right there. I was so fucking close. Okay, well, I had projection there, so I'm good. Set. <laughs> what tournament? Um, I might have been invited to a streamer tournament. But, <laughs> no leaks, no leaks. They haven't made, like, it officially yet, so no leaks, no leaks. <laughs> Shit. No narcs. It's weird because they told us that we could tell our viewers and then they delayed it, so it's like, um, awkward. I mean, I'll post on Twitter and shit once it's, like, officially announced. He said too famous? No. It's- no, I'm not clouded. I am far from famous. I have, like, no platform. <laughs> I mean, it's wild to think that, like, affiliate channels on Twitch are, like, in the top, like, 1%. But that's because there's so many people streaming to zero viewers for ages, like I was ages ago. So it's, it's kind of crazy to think that someone as small as I is still in, the, in the, like, the top percent. It's crazy. That's why I'm grateful for everything. <clears throat> Next race. Easy. Dude, I'm gonna be so, like, sad when I start online. It's gonna go from, like, I'm gonna peek. And all downhill.
Oh, also, okay, update on the rental. So we got the updated version, but they spelled our names wrong, so <laughs> they have to fix it again. But, shit, fuck me, fuck me, okay. But the soonest we can move in is the week before Thanksgiving weekend, so literally in like a week and a half. But that line is difficult. Just don't get very lost. Yeah, I won't. I'll be good. Shit! Oh! <laughs> I hate this part. I still don't know which path is easier for me. I feel like both mushroom paths are kind of bad. Pieces falling. Yep, I fell off. But I welcome in Bay Brown. Hope you're doing well today. Friendsgiving real? I mean, it could be. We'll see. Because, like, our family doesn't really celebrate Thanksgiving because we don't have any family that lives in our state. So it's always just been my immediate family. I've always wanted to do a Friendsgiving, but all of my friends, they have family to celebrate with. And it's kind of weird when they invite you, like, being the only non-family member out of, like, a family's Thanksgiving. It's always kind of weird. But we'll see what happens this year. If you love the emotes, then use them. You can do peace I too, bruh. Wait, I'm still in first? Wait, look at Baby Peach. <laughs> we literally have almost lapped them. Damn. You know, I fell off twice and I still got first. Easy. Oh wait, I didn't do a prediction. Shit, I'm sorry. I'm, s I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Prediction time. Believers in shambles. <laughs> you know, I think forgetting to do a prediction is not nearly as bad as choosing the wrong answer, okay? Which I've done a good handful of times, so I don't think you guys should complain. Oh, I should have held. Oh, Ricochet? This track goes crazy. It still gives me- Okay, it doesn't give me a headache, but it's still like super wonky to watch. Easy? I usually fuck up that line every time. Okay, should I get the new Pokemon game? I'm debating. I think I'm only gonna get it if my sister will play. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna play the whole game. Cause like, Pokemon is kinda not my thing. Oh my god, actually stream sniping. Oh no. But I'm thinking about it. Wait, is it one of my long-term sub-goals to play Pokemon? Whoa, what the fuck? Sorry, I've never gone down that path. Oh, there's a lower path? Dude, I literally have never seen it. Oh, we dodged? Dude, I was saved by falling off right there. I will watch you play? Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, we'll do one more pre with computers, just to warm up. Yeah, it's like 250 subs, damn. Mod check Oilers? <laughs> I think the highest sub count I've ever had was like 115, and that was like right after the subathon. 
it'll probably be like a year before we hit that count again. Oh wait, sorry, I didn't mean to do the prediction. Okay, we'll do one more. Wait, is he wearing a- oh, it's a- it's, I thought it was a bib, but it's a handkerchief, ain't it? I was like, why is he wearing a bib? I didn't think he was an actual baby. If you were gonna get the game, which one would you pick? Uh... I like Violet. Violet? You're turning Violet! <laughs> no, I don't know. I'd have to look at the... I'd have... Because, okay. I got Pokemon Sword and Shield, and the only reason why I chose Pokemon Sword is because I like the game art more for the sword one. Is it not a bit- it's, it's a handkerchief, because see how it's tied in the back? Because like, you know how like bandits and villains will wear handkerchiefs to cover their faces? Makes him look like a bad guy. Oh, 200 CC goes crazy? Oh! <laughs> okay, keep in mind, I wouldn't be able to afford to buy the game for a while. Because <laughs> all of November's stream budget went towards the costume. So I'm not going to be able to buy anything until probably, like, December. Shit! Oh, no! Fuck. That was bad. That was actually horrible. Wait! Shortcut? Ooh, I've never seen this. Okay, that line is kind of tricky, though. Okay, this might actually be bad. Wait, I'm cut up? Hold? Oh! Did I miss? They missed too? Easy. I can come back as long as, like, nobody else knows how to use their items, then I'm solid. The parking lot has me scared every time. I don't like the part where you go in the dirt and you have to avoid the Goomba. That line is always hard for me. Oh, fuck. I was gonna talk about this at the start of stream, but I know some chatters want a Discord, and the reason why I don't have one is because I don't want people to be able to access me directly, but what do you guys think about me leaving the chat room open after stream? Like, you know how whenever I end stream, I put it into email-only chat? Maybe instead, I put it into subscriber-only, that way if people come in, like, right before stream, or if they want to keep chatting after stream, then I'll keep it open. What do you guys think about that? Because, like, usually we have Mac and then sometimes a few other chatters in the just starting scene screen, like, right before at, like, 10.30 at the earliest sometimes come in. Oh, I wanted the green shell to the bomb! Damn it. <laughs> so what do you guys think about that? Because I usually have my, like, offline chat open for about an hour before I start stream. That way I can, like, do tech checks and stuff. So we can try that for this week and see if people do it. So early, wowza, yeah. Welcome in, Kobobo. I mean, because usually some people are there, and I, I think it's nice because, like, that's what offline chat is meant to be. It's meant to be for, like, people who are in the streamer's <laughs> community to, like, chat and still be able to, like, use emotes and stuff. Oh, come on, I'm so close. Oh, dude, it's right on my ass. Do it? Okay, well, we'll try this week and see if people use it. Like I said, it would be in sub-only mode, so, like, you would still not be able to curse and say bad things. Because, obviously, the, the only issue I see is that Twitch can still see everyone's chat logs. 
So nobody should be making inappropriate jokes. Nobody should be like making threats. Um, prime example, that's how like E Rob got banned. <laughs> Cause he was he made a jokingly threat towards somebody in his offline chat at like 1 a.m. <laughs> So everybody would still have to follow the normal chat rules, it would just not be during a live stream. I've never been one too big on holidays, but I know one that I always enjoyed when I was younger was Halloween. Mainly because you could just get like a boatload of free candy, right? But I haven't celebrated since elementary. And a few weeks ago for stream, I had to buy a costume. Because everybody on Twitter voted. Because I asked them, I was like, hey, should I do a last minute run to the store and buy a costume? And that was like the 30th, so right before Halloween. And of course, most everyone voted yes. So honestly, screw everybody. So I woke up early. I was gonna take the bus to like the spirit store, but thankfully my dad was nice and he drove me to and from. But I spent <laughs> nearly a hundred dollars on my costume. And of course, the only plus size costume they had left was like a devil costume. And you know, on the picture, it, ha it has like the full costumes, so, like a cape, a hat, whatever accessories but of course the thing it basically was a teddy like a corset so I have to buy the cape and the horns and then a skirt separately a hundred dollars I'm never buying another costume again it's not worth it's not worth I literally could have gotten just the cape and the horns for 20 bucks and then just worn a red shirt because like I'm sitting at my camera you guys don't see my legs so I had no need to buy a skirt and you guys couldn't really see the corset thing. So, it's kind of pointless. Yeah, it was fire though, it was fire. <laughs> I don't know why you did it. Okay, I was like caught up. And you know when you, go, when you go to the store and you see nice things? And you want to buy the nice things? Oh wait, I didn't get first. Sorry, I almost fucked up with the doubters. Wait, nobody gambled. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the reason why that happens, Potato, is because I have certain words that I had to manually block. The reason why I die and death and kill are blocked is because, like, I don't want somebody coming in being like, Oh my god, my cat died. Give me comfort. And that's just awkward. And I don't think people should be saying, Oh, kill them! But, like, that, that's just like, whoa, dude. It's kind of wild. Okay, I'm trying Did that line could have been better? I'll admit it. You need to start going for like double item boxes. Because I know items are the key. <laughs> but welcome back, Mac. Shit. This truck has always been difficult for me. It's, <laughs> it's never a guaranteed W like the other ones. <laughs> it's fine. I still got one lap to catch up. Dude, I why are the computer so good today? Oh, you know why I'm going super fast? It's because I'm playing a baby character, that's why. I was like, why am I so goddamn fighting? Wait, hold! Of course. They were saving it for me, of course. <laughs> Bisexual lighting. <laughs> Oh, wait, was he spanking? <laughs> wait! Oh no! <laughs> no, I don't want to see that again! 
no. I never played Baby Bowser, so I haven't seen their trick animations yet. Oh no. Yeah, he is! He is! Oh no! Dude, he's pretty sussy. Ew. What's wrong with Nintendo? You know, Donkey Kong dabbing was already cringe. But spanking their ass? Holy. Children, avert your eyes, please. Gage? Why is that Gage? He's just a little bit extra, okay? <laughs> Dude, that's wild. Oh, the lighting? Lamau. Did I get first? Of course I did. What's happening? Nothing. Just some wholesome Mario Kart, of course. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, just the still shot of the banana and me coming. I want to see it again. That was fun. <laughs> me just like sliding into it. That was good. That was good. <laughs> She got second on one race skill issue, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Do it a two stars cringe. Mac track, lack, whack, rack, back tack. I don't like that. Guess who online? Let's actually prove myself. If I get first, then I will do nothing. That good? Oh, also, if we hit our sub goal today, then I'll do a bonus cult of the lamb sub only. Pog you. 13 stars? That's a crazy. It's like a baker's dozen. Wait, wait, go back. Since Christmas is coming up, let's look like a little elf. You know, red and green. <clears throat> oh, I'm spectating. I don't like waiting. Oh, this is a good lineup. So, how's everybody doing today? Are you guys having fun? <clears throat> At least you don't have to play Baby Park? True. I fucking hate Baby Park. I used to like it a lot, but now I hate it. Okay, racing time. Chatters. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, wait. The prediction still says first. It still has first. Do you guys think I will get first? Hi, Voro. Welcome in, hun. Hope you're doing well today. Based. Do you guys think I will get first? By some stroke of luck, will I get first? Dude, everybody's mees in this level are kind of crazy. <laughs> that guy has no eyes. <laughs> that Pikachu is so cute. Thank you. I got it in Japan. I also have a sleeping Eevee one, but it doesn't sit on the chair as well. Recently? No, I got it like... It's been on my chair for forever, my guy. Because <laughs> I got it back in 2018. No? Yeah, 2018. What? Just gotta pay attention. Wait, we had 10 points in belief. I'll do it for the believers. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get first. Surely. Wait, I just noticed Link has piercings. Okay, can I self-report? I think when guys have piercings, I think it's so hot. Like, I know that it's like the, the cliche, like, thing to have, like, you know the, um... <laughs> Like the jump ring with the cross in it. I know that's like e boy aesthetic, but I think it's cute. I remember one of my own coworkers. We were like sitting in the back room, and I looked at their ear, and it, they, it looked like they had a piercing. So I was like, "Hey, are your ears pierced?" And they were like, "No, it's a freckle." And I'm like, "No, it's not." So I got a poster, and um, 
She's like, no, it's just a freckle. I'm like, no, it's not. It's literally a piercing. But they kept on insisting that it was a fucking freckle. And then, like, a year later, they were like, oh, yeah, it's a piercing. I just didn't want anybody to think out in piercing. Like, okay. Still, but... <laughs> Oh wait, did I say she? I meant to say he. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, cause like, he said he got the piercing in high school and regretted it and like took up the piercings like a week later. <laughs> wait, six points? Hold? I may have a chance? See, like, I like the idea of having earrings. I just don't want to get them pierced. I'm kind of scared. It's because when my sister got hers pierced, they got infected, and that was kind of, like, scary to see. Oh my god. Wait, blue shell approaching? Hold? Oh my fucking god. No, it's too late. Oh, that was horrible. That could have been so much better. Nobody say anything. Nobody say anything. Nobody say anything. Okay, the prediction is changing to top three, okay? Top three. <laughs> Why did I fail? You know, we need to go back step by step and analyze where I failed. Any video essayists in chat? Dude, the guy with just the single dots for eyes is scaring me. I just remembered something. <laughs> okay, back in elementary, I feel like it's common for most every kid to doodle on their papers, right? But I remember in sixth grade, I was fascinated with drawing people, so the doodles on my papers, I would just draw these creepy smiley faces. Because I was trying to draw like cartoons, but I wouldn't draw the full body, I would just draw the faces, because obviously there's not enough room on your paper to do like full body renders. So I can only imagine like the teacher looking at my homework pages, just seeing like all these weird, creepy, grin faces. They must have thought I was like psychotic or something. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, I remember I would, like, sit across from my classmates and try and draw their face, but of course, like, the skills of a sixth grader is not good, so obviously it looked horrible. Okay, six points, I can work with this. Third? No way. Please, come on, I'm so close. I would have thought something was wrong. <laughs> no. 
I know, it's kind of scary, right? <laughs> I mean, you could just say that I was a very creative child, right? Wait, fourth, fifth? <laughs> Motherfucker! Dude, all my shells got blasted. Screw this race. Okay, I was doing decent that game. I was doing decent. Until I wasn't. <laughs> Guys, stop, stop. Has anybody watching won a Meg Esports tournament against me? Besides hackers. I think Hacker's the only chatter who has successfully beaten me. So y'all can shut up. Go Gamba, do you think I'll get top three? You know, y'all talk a big game, but can never perform. Oh, they're getting coins! I see you! <gasps> oh my god, that motherfucker! I still got the double item box, though! Damn it. I mean, did you guys see how I accidentally dodged that banana in the item box? Kinda crazy. cat would breed would you get i don't know i've never been too too specific when thinking about what type of breeds or like what type of animal i want to get because like i've always wanted to get like some type of rescue animal because i like the idea of giving someone a home that doesn't have one you know Look at that, I got fucking second! No way. Oh wait, there's only nine people in the lobby? Hmm. I don't know if that makes me look any better, but I still got a second. Holy. I made a few silly mistakes, but still top three? Ooh, what I am kind of excited about is that one of my friends is going on a trip during December. So we get to, like, cat sit their cat for a month i'm really excited i just hope that i'm not like allergic to cats still because i remember i'd go to my friend's house when i was younger and i would always get like a stuffy nose whenever i went over and they had cats but i think i kind of grew out of it i mean we'll see but i do have like over the counter like allergy medicine i can take kitty cat no it's like an older cat i think it's like six years old how long do cats live for See, that's another reason why I don't want to get a pet, because, like, if they die, it's going to be a big sad. That's also why I don't want kids, because, like, your kid can just, like, fucking die when they're a baby. It's, like, sudden death syndrome, SDS. It's sad. Like, 15 years? Damn, that's, like... That's a long-ass time. You're allergic, but you still have one? Do you take, like, medicine, or are you just, like, dealing with it?
Okay, I have a good feeling about today. I got a second place after those massive L's I took. I think I can win today. 25 years, holy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Did Kobobo win the best clipper? Yes, they did. <laughs> Welcome in, Crystal. Because a lot of your clips, Crystal, like, they were good sound bits, but they didn't make sense. Which is fine. It's just not good for, like, a comp. Come back, R. Have a chance. I'm fine. That's horrible. Hold. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit it. Okay, we're good. Third. Oh, that was close. Hold. If I hadn't gone for the skip on that first, like, side ramp, I could have maybe gotten a second. Because I lost, like, five seconds. But that was good. Guys, should I go pro? Type one. Why are you guys saying two? Why are you guys being so mean? Do you guys think I'm bad? What? Okay, tell me why I should not go pro. Give me five a uh, give me a five paragraph explanatory essay as to why I should not go pro. Oh wait, if I do go pro, then I have to like learn how to use a cart, huh? I hate carts. Not first. Do you think all pros get first every time? For every person who gets first, there's so many people who don't. That's not how... Guys, guys. <clears throat> okay, honestly, you guys don't want to watch me play Mario Kart every stream, is that it? You guys are being selfish. You want to hold back my true potential. <laughs> Wait, this is mirror mode. I fucking hate mirror mode. Oh my god, that secret fits perfectly with the vibe right now. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. I hate this track. Mirror mode makes it so much worse. You wanna try- oh, I missed it. I was like, I'll go for the upper path this time. Surely it'll work. Wait, I'm in third? How? Guys. 
guys. Am I actually good at the game? That wasn't very cool. Oh, I should have held. Damn it. How am I still? Two reds? Okay, one of them had to have hit them, right? <laughs> Guys, I might have a chance. I think they're too far ahead from- oh, they have a green shell. That stupid turn! Damn it. It's the, the last turn at the end that got me basically every time. I was close to top three, though. We'll get it next time. The next prediction is up. <laughs> I love Peace I2L. Well. It's so funny. It's cold today. Yeah, it is. Like, I- Okay. Chatters, it's November 8th, so if you haven't voted, make sure you're voting to see what is accessible in your area and your state today. So, I mailed my ballot last week on Friday. My sister did hers last night. So, I helped her fill it out. Meaning, I helped her research candidates and that type of thing. But, um... She made me put it outside in the mailbox at, like, 9 p.m., Oh my god, it's so fucking cold! Like, I used to, like, enjoy the cold weather, but now I'm like, it's not enjoyable at all. I feel like I'm old. I feel like a boomer. Granted, I did go outside to the mailbox in slippers, a tank top, and shorts. But even then, I feel like if I would've gone out fully bundled, I'd still be fucking gold. Wait, hold fourth? No fucking way. Not excited for tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Run around. Still doesn't snow here yet? <laughs> Sorry, I'm mad. It's gonna snow here soon. Um, Cause like, I live technically in a valley, so... Oh my fucking god, I hate this part. So, I live in a valley, so some parts of our town get snow, and then some parts don't. But, I know some parts of Eastern Washington are getting snow right now. It's kind of scary. Because snow isn't fun anymore. You know, when you're a kid, they cancel school. You get to stay home and play in the snow. But as an adult, you still have to do your obligations. You still have to get to work. And yo, Bullville? Come on, skip the difficult part, please. 
Easy. <gasps> no! Bro, I had second for like five milliseconds there. Damn it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I mean, that was crazy. That bullet bill took me from, like, ninth to second. Why don't they cancel work on snow days? It'd be cool if they did something like that, but, you know. I feel like it makes sense for, like, essential businesses to be open. Like, you know, grocery stores. Um... Like, places that sell medicine, like, you know, Walgreens, Rite Aid. Makes sense for those places to be open. But why does a diner need to be open? Like, who's really gonna go out in the six inches of snow to get a pancake? That is so shitty that it's barely inedible. Or barely edible. I mean, I guess it's up to the business owner's discretion if they want to stay open, but it just seems like you're putting your workers at risk. I mean, I think it's different if you live in an area where that's common. Like, you know, like Alaska or something. Where, like, the infrastructure is made for more harsher weather conditions. But some parts here in Washington, whenever there's heavy rain, like, the sewage overflows. Because there's not enough good drainage infrastructure in some areas. Diner burgers hit different in a good or a bad way. I've never been tempted to try a burger at a diner. Because I feel like it's going to be ass. Okay, I would never get a steak from a diner. Because you, you know it's got to be frozen. Or like fish or something. I would never. You know, when I go to a diner, I expect breakfast food and sandwiches. Like, I remember looking at a menu, and a diner said they had Wagyu steak. And it's like, how? No way it's gonna be good. Or like, you know, five-star restaurant quality. It's for sure gonna be a frozen-ass steak. I mean, the diner burger is probably tastes good because, you know, it's got the... <laughs> it's got the drippings of sweat from the cook in the back, you know? Anyone's pipes freeze or break during winter? Ours? Hasn't? Thank fucking god. But I've seen videos of it happen. Like, back when they had the massive snowstorms in Texas. I think it was about a year and a half ago. Like, showing videos of, like, people's houses flooding. That's crazy. And, like, the only reason that happened is because they didn't have the infrastructure set up. Because, like, Texas does not anticipate having such extreme weather conditions. I think that was the closest race I've had all day. Damn, that was crazy. I got saved at the end. But you know who's not going to be saved? The non-subs. Because chatters, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But if you want to avoid that ad, all you got to do is subscribe for $4.99 and just $5. Skip your copy and get ad previewing all month long. Or... You can like your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. After that, we're going to keep on racing. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Easy clap. Get some water. Get a snack. Dude, that was crazy. That was an insane race. Holy. Guys, I should go pro. Oh, somebody's dog is barking outside. I got scared. I don't like dogs.
It's another mirror mode track. God, and me. You're gonna hold on to the red shell. For when I inevitably come back. It'll happen any second. Um, I, I, <laughs> no, I should have waited. I should have waited. That was so dumb. See, I don't think I can live in a super warm area either. You know, it still probably would be pleasant. But I don't know if I can handle it, because I don't like being too hot. Like, summer's the worst time of the year. Because I think... I mean, this year I feel like everybody had the heat wave, right? I think in some parts of Washington it was getting to like nearly 100 degrees. May I ask what place you got in last month's tournament, Potato? Huh? What place did you get? And what place did I get? <laughs> oh, ideal meal. Not last. Who got last, actually? Well, I got second. And I think that's pretty impressive. Oh my god. See, this is what happens when you don't play every day. Should I start playing every day again? Ooh, Ayo? Is nice. Next turning, we only do a side bike? No! That'd be horrible. That'd be horrible. I don't think that'd be enjoyable to watch, because like the lines are pretty boring too. How they fell off? They got ratioed. That would be so fun. No, it wouldn't. It'd be horrible. I don't think you can even do that. 
Because, like, you know how when you pick a map, it's not the same maps every time? Wait, fifth? Oh, come on, of course I did that. Oh, you motherfucker. That was smart, but still, not cool. You guys, I might have a chance? If I get first, Chad gets the sub. You guys know the rules. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It's not looking like it now. Damn it, I was so confident. What I do like about the update is that you don't, like, spin out when you hit the cards. Fourth? <laughs> that dude purposely ran into me. That was on purpose. God damn. I'm gonna get at least one force today, I can promise you that. I just saw that it's Cheeseland. I hate Cheeseland. This map stinks. Just like cheese, it stinks. Screw it. Let's get him. There we go. We get a moment of glory. First place. Easy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had the desire to dye my hair. I mean, I think dyed hair looks cool, and I've seen some people get like, like curtain bangs or like little fringe bangs, and they just dye that part, and that looks really cute. But I feel like if you dye hair, it's so much maintenance. Like, having to go back and get it re-dyed. And like my sister, she dyed part of her hair when she was in middle school, because she has dark hair like me. And then she had like a few like red streaks. But the stylist didn't get the color right, so it was more of like a brick red. It was kind of ugly. But I don't know what color I would even do. Because, like, if you get colored hair, then your hair kind of has to match your clothes, so you can't do anything too crazy. Or you look crazy yourself if your colors don't match. I, I've always liked the look of, like, ombre. Where they'll do, like, either lighter colors to dark, and then... Or dark to light. I've always liked that look. Okay, fuck this game. <laughs> I saw the triple red and I thought it was like a triple mushroom. I got excited. That's why I went to the that's why I went to the sand. That's not it. Wait, third? Hold. Have a chance. It took a year to get rid of the die completely? Dude. See I, I can't commit. 
I'm a flight. Nice try, bitch. That's a fourth. Damn it. There was one part where I fucked up. Where I... Oh. Damn it. The last lap where I thought I had mushrooms but I had shells. Damn. I'll get it this time. Sunshine Airport, best course. Do you think we'll ever get Mario Kart 9? Oh wait, if Nintendo doesn't do console, what would the console even be? Because I think the handhold to like the dock console is like the best. There's a honey blonde. Ooh, that sounds cute. I hope it's a 3DS. Why? It's too small. You know, the blind people can't play. It's way too small. Oh, it is the final console. <laughs> they just throw in the towel and Nintendo's like, we're bankrupt. We're gonna cash out. I mean, my sister wouldn't even let me play on her silly OLED, so I don't know what the difference is. I got mad. I wanted to kill somebody. In game. With the shell. Oof. Sorry, that was a bad word. Bad word. I think it's so mean whenever you get hit with an item right away. Because it's just like, you should save it. You should save it. Not that far behind. There's a better kickstand and it looks nicer. I agree. That this is like there's much difference. I mean, the only nice thing about it is that my sister can play the Switch whenever I want to play, and that's that's like it. She said she literally got the OLED just in time for the Bayonetta game, just so she can play it literally all day and all night. It's just like okay. I know you got the money for it, but it's like, do you really need it? You gotta stay away from me? Oh my god, fuck me. Don't leave! You're so mean! I wonder what online would look like with no items. Then you can actually see who's good at the game. Adams has some merit to it. I agree, but when everybody playing online has items, it's hard to like catch up when you're in the back for that reason. It's because you usually get better items when you're in like the fight between like fifth to eighth place. So if you're stuck there, it's so hard to get out of it. You can do a no items tournament. Yes, you can. We did do a no items tournament and it was aight, but basically the issue was when we did no items. Um, people who were in the front got to stay in the front because they knew the lines the best. So it was very hard to like get the people who were in the front. That's why I think the best tournament we've done 
was the frantic items. That way people in first got really good items, and then people in the backpack got really good items too. I haven't logged into Animal Crossing today, and I'm just curious to see if we still have an empty plot. If so, then we're for sure gonna go Aurora hunting today. If not, I'm gonna be saying it. First, holy. You have a pretty good lead. Dude, my lines are going crazy. I'm so far ahead. Please, I need a dub. I need a dub. I have such a massive lead. Holy! Then a blue shell shut up. I see nothing I've said on the map. <laughs> I have a boombox! Holy. You know, it doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. I have an insane lead right now. See, look look at everybody clustered in the center. I knew it. You know what? Did I win? Holy, that was like the cleanest race I've had ever. Top three, I got a motherfucking first. Wait, 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 hold. Look at that crown. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, as promised, chat will get one sub. Any non-subs in chat? Any non-subs? Want a sub? Any non-subs? Type now. I remembered to charge my laptop. I see potential now. Now the downers can shut up. I finally got a dub. Can I get a sub? No, you're already a sub. Silly. What the fuck? Any non subs? Any non subs? Is it loading? Oh, I hate this map. Can I keep my first place? Game changer when you start out in the front of the pack. That guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is going on? There's so many stars. Okay, still have a chance? Are there guys no items? Imagine. Screw that race. Honestly. Honestly. That doesn't look like a third. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Since I got first place last race, a random chatter will get a gifted sub. <laughs> I don't have Wi Fi. Fuck you. Why does it auto reconnect to the right Wi Fi? This is so annoying. I hate my laptop. And this one's so slow, too. Oh, I didn't pick a track, damn it. Okay, let's see who's gonna get it. Enjoy your gifted sub project. <laughs> Wagon, yeah. Now we're gonna get another first to celebrate. You know how these silver gloves that have the little finger pads to where you can still use your phone when you're wearing them? I've never liked them, because when you wear gloves, it makes your fingers quote-unquote be bigger, so it's hard to even click on your screen. I think they're a scam. They don't really work. They give the illusion that it's practical, but it's literally not. I've never liked wearing gloves. Like, even going out to play in the snow when I was younger, like, I would not wear gloves all the time. They were so uncomfy. Cause like, you know when your gloves get wet? It just feels icky. Cause when I was little, my parents, they got us like, full on snow suits basically to wear outside. Obviously cause you don't want your little, like, five year old to die of hypothermia. But there's pictures of us, like, all bundled up in our snow suits. And it's so cute, because we just look like mini marshmallow men. Fuck! Oh. Sorry, that line was bad. Did we get another first? Oh shit, I thought that was a golden mushroom! I hear blue shell? <laughs> I got third? Dude, that was close! I got scared at the end! <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't like the little, like, latex gloves either. Because back when I was working in food, we had, like, just single-use, like, really thin plastic gloves. And when we were required to wear latex, ooh, I hated it. Dude, that was a good race, too. Guys, am I actually good at the game? I mean, I feel like I've improved over, like, the past year of playing. 
Like, I'm definitely better than I was a year ago. I just need to play against people who are bad at the game, or who never play. Then I'm gonna look like a pro. Hands are like one big callus. Ew. Like, oh fuck. I can draw all day if I really wanted to, but the thing that agitates me the most is the way I hold my like pens, brushes, or pencils. I lay them against my ring finger. So I always get like a big blister on my finger after a few hours. And it's unbearable almost. Okay, I think the worst place to get a blister or a cut has to be your toes. Because, you know, you can kind of, like, avoid using your hands, but you can't really stop using your toes. Oh my god, have you guys ever seen somebody, like, lose their fingernail? My sister did one time, but she never showed me because she didn't like it. But there was this one kid in elementary. He like ran his foot into the door by accident at home and he came to school like with his toe bandaged, bandaged up and he had to wear flip flops right because he had to let it breathe and I remember he like showed off to the other kids at the playground be like dude look at my toe without a toenail damn I'm sorry Nyx are they offering, like, any form of compensation or, like, insurance or something? I wonder- It says this in the dorms. I have no idea what that's like, but damn, that fucking sucks. Like, I've thought about that, and it's like, what would I do if there were any emergency? Like, if I lost everything? I would just be like, GG's. <laughs> What's the boy? Hold up! That was dumb. I should not have used the mushroom. That was D-U-M. Well, rip Megan, that was horrible. They'll get back to you in a few months? What the fuck? Dude, that's wrong. I mean, how many students were affected? You guys should, like, do a protest. You should do a sit-in. Wait, I got a lightning bolt? Oh my god, just go, go, go. You boom? Dude, screw this race. Screw this race. One of your sweet mates flooded the bathroom in a flooded on your room. Oh my god. You should sue that guy. Dude, what the fuck? How did that happen? Like... Oh my god. Dude, I would lose my mind. I would fight them in Minecraft. In Minecraft, of course. Dude, why would they not, like, clean it up? Oh my god. I am so glad I don't live in dorms. I don't think I could handle living with strangers. Cause like even my family is irresponsible at times. So it's like how can I trust strangers?
Yeah, I agree. Because, like, if I did go to a traditional college as well, I don't think I would have dormed either. I think it's crazy how much it costs to, like, dorm at a college. And I agree, like, you do need, like, a separate space and environment from it. But it's kind of like you don't want to be home all the time. And then you don't want to be at school all the time either. Like, you need some degree of separation. Yeah, I really hope your roommates at least help you clean, maybe pitch in to buy you some new things, because that's honestly, like, it's not your fault at all. Like, they should fully cover everything. Because they were the fucking dumbasses that did it. Oh my god, buzz off, mate. They ran. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Still in third? They got no items? Screw that guy. Luchelle? <gasps> no way. Yeah, as long as you know that you did what you could, Nix, that's the best thing you can do. But guys, did you see that? I got another fucking first place. Am I actually correct? Cracked POV? Holy. Somebody roll the tape. I wasn't even trying. P side to L? Mods ban Mac. <laughs> Holy. I didn't see it. Didn't count. Watch the VOD. Streamers luck? Y'all know we never get lucky here. Mod check. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. I got two first today. That's two. Can I do it again? I genuinely think I'm pretty- I'm playing pretty well today, though. Mainly because, like, I'm actually tryharding. That, that's why, like, I haven't been talking as much. I don't- I won because, like, I don't have as many story times today. Because, like, we, we streamed for five hours and I was just talking the whole time, so I don't have any stories. But I'm, like, actually trying. Because I'm gonna win that goddamn tournament on Saturday, okay? Good line. <gasps> Holy! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. I appreciate you. Hey, yo! Kingly got it. Let's fucking go. Thank you, Mac. You are gonna get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you. And you are right, if we hit our daily sub goal today, if we get um, two more subs, then we'll do Cult of the Lamb today. Oh, Lamb Stone first. Oh shit, that was horrible. It's fine. Okay, got everyone. It's not as bad. What, two blue shells? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm in first. I'm throwing it behind me because I'm literally in first. Guys, can I do it again? Okay, I'm trying to trick off the sand dunes, but it's not working. I'm not timing the tricks right. Um, refresh your tab, Mac. Blue 
himself. Wait, what? Somebody fucking clip that. I had first. I literally had fucking first. I got boomed right as I crossed the finish line. So that means somebody... Oh, dude, I had it. I mean, still top three. That's still great. I got fucking second. Hi, Luigi. Welcome in. I was robbed. I, I, I am like so upset. You know, I get mad like all the blood rushes to your brain. Now I have a headache. Dude, that is so unfair. I literally had it. I literally had it. Skill difference? Yeah, of course, of course. I, my goal is to get at least one more first place today. I think I can do it. I got 20 minutes. What is the challenge? Life. <laughs> challenge is not losing my mind. Why did it not hit him? But this is mirror mode, ain't it? Yep. Buzz off, mate. <laughs> I'm not British. Why do I keep saying that? Dude, how am I not? How? How? I had it? Guys, I'm good at the game. Roll the clip where I got first twice. And then I almost had a last race. Then I got robbed. Pretend the second digit is not there. Pretend it's not there. Blue shell, first of the day. I've never been this far behind. Huck. <laughs> Someone clip the first place being stolen for the views. Yeah, that'd be, that's a good clip. That's a really good clip. I'm not gonna watch the back and get mad. Surely, oh my god, I keep on turning the wrong direction. Ignore this. This does not count. This does not count at all. Okay? Okay. I now have 18 minutes to get one more first place. Shit. See, like, it's nice, because if you get, like, top three, you start in the front. And that is such an important lead, right? But if you start in the back, you're fucked from the start. No, no more complaining. 
I got this in the bag. <laughs> they have little horns. <laughs> Yeah, this is the third time we're racing on this track today. It's got little sparkles, do you see? The trick is to not hold the item behind me unless I want to use it. Dude, why isn't the guy throwing- okay, they have protection now. Never mind. That wasn't in my vicinity at all. so far ahead. They're within reach, but they're also not. Wait! Get fucked! <laughs> Got him! That was a pretty good race. I was in top three the whole time, basically. A second? I'm gonna win that tournament on Saturday. I'm gonna fucking win. But that's not a first. I was really close, though. See how one of the Mies has like the black beard and then dyed hair? I think when people do that IRL, it looks weird. I remember this one kid, they had like medium brown hair and then they dyed their hair green and then they dyed their like eyebrows green too and it did not look good. Yeah, what's your bike build? I'm not gonna use it, because I don't like bikes, but what do you do? I don't think I'm ever gonna play a bike. I'm so used to the inside drifting. Oh, Bowser City. I actually love this course. You like that look? I don't like it. It looks weird. Get him from the start. <laughs> Got him. Oh my god, I just did the wrong way. He nailed that turn, wasn't as clean, but still good. I got boomed. 
<laughs> they threw the red thought thinking at me. <laughs> nice try. Guys, if I get first on a Neo Bowser City, that'd actually go crazy. Oh my god, I missed. Okay, I'm gonna nail the turns. Dude, flawless! And I have double protection, guys. I have this in the bag. The only thing that could stop me is if I get bolted or blue shell. Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I got <laughs> both at once. Or both, yeah, literally. Literally. You know, fourth is still really good. It's really good. See, you can perform well the whole time. You can hold top three for three whole laps. It's fine. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. I'll be fine. stretching they like put out their gut when they were stretching <laughs> oh there's only seven maybe i can work with seven if it's top three for only seven people that's top 50 and the odds of me getting first are drastically increased Oh wait, there's 10. I can't. I didn't count the people. I counted how many tracks were chosen. <laughs> okay, I'm in the front. So dumb, that's literally DM. I don't get why the shells should auto target non or inanimate objects. Feels rigged. Why am I getting infinity in six, please? I don't think I'm that far behind. No! 
God damn it, that's a six. Honestly, it was kind of hard to come back from because I got boomed like so many times in the first lap. Oh no. Okay, I can for sure get one more first today. I can surely do it. I'm really glad that they're launching the DLC tracks gradually because I feel like it keeps the hype for Mario Kart going because if they would have dropped all the tracks at the start then Mario Kart would be dead I mean I feel like Mario Kart is already kind of dead but I feel like there's still a lot of people who play the game regularly and like getting basically a whole game's worth of courses at once I feel like that's way too overwhelming It's a good way to prolong it since there isn't going to be a Mario Kart 9 at any point. I agree. I agree. It's to kind of like tide us over. I tried to get in front of the guy. <laughs> I was like, come on, let me at him. I hate how the lab makes it look like the shells don't hit anybody. Okay, that was a pretty good skin. Okay, fourth place. Okay, just throw your red shell, just throw it. What are you waiting for? Dude, no way. Ah, uh, they were too far in anyway. It's another second though. <clears throat> See, I'm at a point right now to where I've gotten a really good handful of top threes and it doesn't feel good anymore. All I want is that first place. That's the only thing that'll make me happy. That's the only thing. Okay, I got one more race. One more race. To redeem myself and get a first place. Okay, chatter to go gamble. 
Hi, Pride. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well today. <laughs> what are the- <laughs> I'm not gonna do the motion. But the, the motion where it looks like it's yawning. <laughs> it looks very funny. <laughs> I hate this court. If I get top three, it'll be a miracle. Everyone hit somebody in the air. Oh, I threw it behind me by accident. Fuck. I really wanted to screw someone over right there. In the air. Without a care. <laughs> Dude, these are like the worst items I can get right now. I think everybody else got hit in the air too. Dude, first is so far ahead. How? First is only right there, that's not that bad. Damn. I was not able to redeem myself. But you know what? I still got two first place today, and I think that's pretty good. You know what else is pretty good? running ads because chatters we are another hour in the stream so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads so if you want to avoid that all you got to do is subscribe for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can hashtag sub for free with prime by linking your amazon prime to your twitch account click subscribe see if you have a prime sub available um after the ad we're gonna switch gears to animal crossing so more chill more just tanning vibes we're gonna see if we still have that empty plot available maybe we could do more aurora hunting today so if you don't want to miss in the second just subscribe also if you have to watch that ad, no problem i just uploaded a new tiktok so go like it go leave a comment i'd appreciate it and make it tomorrow get a snack we'll see some of you guys in a few okay also i need to fill my water bottle so we're in emo only mode. Spam, 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 <laughs> spam as much as you want, okay?
Because I literally drank my whole cup. Which I usually don't do. So spam as much as you guys want. Have fun. Yep. Okay, now I gotta change the. T I love bat chips. Holy. <laughs> It's good, but never tested it online. Okay. I might try that then. Okay. We have to think of a good title, guys. A good title. Manifesting right now, I'm manifesting. New title, what do you guys think? I am manifesting that I still have the plot open. Okay, I'm s I need it open. If we can do more island hopping today, that'd be amazing. There we go. I had to turn the overlay off. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Tiblet, it is 12.58 p.m. on Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. Dear Leaf is here today. I always feel so calm when he's around. If you're in the market for a new plant friend, you can buy his lovely seeds and starts in the plaza. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Okay, we gotta check. The first thing we gotta do is check if we still have that plot. Everybody, peace I too pray. No! <laughs> Let's see who it is. <laughs> Pee Wee? <laughs> Who's Pee Wee? Wait, okay, let's check. Wait, listen. Oh, I've had this guy before. They're all right. The, the biopsy says, Kiwi is a cranky gorilla villager in the Animal Crossing series. His name is a joke and his size and personality. Pee-wee usually means indicating signs of relation to youth when Pee-wee is in fact large and adult. Wow. God damn. I just never win, do I? Well, but wait, did I say biopsy? <laughs> I meant to say bio. <laughs> you know what I meant. 
Oh, my inventory is still full. Well, I guess we have no use for those tickets now. Sad. So, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Did he die or get a test done? I don't know. I mean, a vibe see is just where they take, like, skin samples, right? So that's not as scary as dying. Okay, well, let's see. What can we do today? I think what I need to focus on is grinding Nook Miles. So we're gonna do the daily missions like crazy today. First, I forgot to check the shop yesterday, so I hope I didn't miss anything nice. <laughs> you know these... <laughs> you know those straw glasses? Did anybody ever use them as a kid? Because my parents never let me get them. One, because they are nearly impossible to clean. So if you want to use them, just don't. Because like, it's so hard to like get your little cleaner inside the curly straw. And since the straw length is so long, because it's doubled in order to get that shape, you can't even drink your drink well. Like It's fun for the novelty, but it's just not practical at all. Like, I think the closest thing to it is I had, like, a longer straw, but it was, like, shaped like this, but it had, like, a heart shape in it, so it looped around like this. And looking back, <laughs> we would only use them during Valentine's Day, but only one day of the whole year, right? So, I don't think I would have used them now, because just thinking about how, <laughs> how poorly you would clean them. I had one. Where did it go? I don't know. Oh, I saw this one, like, video talking about if you're gonna buy or if you're gonna go out to eat, don't get the novelty, like, strawware or tableware. Or if they have, like, a gimmick to where they put, like, salad in top of or inside, like, a helmet or something, don't order it because you can guarantee they don't scrub it or wash it well. And, like, a dishwasher can't necessarily get into every little nook and cranny. So just don't. It's fun and quirky, but not necessarily sanitary. That's the problem. That's your life lesson of the day, number 463. Okay, nothing good. Ew, yeah, I didn't really think about it till I watched the video and I was like, oh. I'm never gonna order weird shit again. Because we have a dishwasher at home. One, it's broken. And even if it was working, I wouldn't use it because it's not gonna get all the little crusties off. Or if you have like a weird shaped glass, it's not gonna like clean every nook and cranny. Ooh, look at this. Thirty nine thousand. Holy. Okay, I'm gonna come back and buy the chandelier. I gotta get my money. Oh, the new place has a beautiful chandelier. I'll show you guys a picture. But it's really pretty. Because you know the chandelier fixtures where it's like chains hanging down. And then at the end of the chain they have like a little clear glass crystal. 
So it's just a whole bunch of those in a little spiral. And it's so pretty. I was gonna take a picture during the tour, but then I forgot. I think chandeliers are like one of the more prettier decorations you can have in your home. But I'm still kind of scared of them. Cause like, you know the cliche thing in like horror movies where like the chandelier falls on somebody? Cause I think in our house, a few of our rooms have like a mini chandelier. Where instead of like a single bulb picture, it has like a little metal frame that it can like put like three to four bulbs in. And I would be so scared of walking in it. Or walking under it when I was younger. Because I would be like paranoid and fall. But I've kind of gotten over that fear. And like what's funny too is... <laughs> um, I think our chandelier in the dining room, it has four bulbs. But we never put all four bulbs in at once because we never have four available. So I think right now it just has two. So it has like two from on one side so it hangs lopsided. <laughs> have your parents seen anything from the new place? No. They haven't. Mainly because, like... I feel like they'd be jealous. Because, like, the, the pictures are nicer than what we have now. So... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have, like, our parents and then, like, family friends help us move, so. I mean, because I think the house, or it's not a house, it's like a duplex. I just say house by, like, instinct. Because it's, like, one of those places where it's, like, you know what a duplex is, like, basically, like, an apartment, but they're together. It's, like, condos. It's kind of like that. You could say. I keep on saying house, but it's not a house. Because no way we could get approved to live in a house. Um, what was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, I blanked. I blanked. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to save. No, we're not. <laughs> Guys, we're ending stream. <laughs> I meant to check my nook miles. I need to grind. Okay, let's say. Die for sea creatures. Got it. I don't want to do that. Hit rocks. Got it. Assess fossils. Okay, we're going to speed run. If we're going to be a, as efficient as I can be, I should go deep sea diving. Get some new creatures, then assess fossils, and then get coffee. Easy. I think I left my diving uniform over here. Yes, I did. Okay, close your eyes, I'm changing. <laughs> Please don't let the subs drop. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I've, I don't think I've ever, like, deep sea dived on stream. I don't mind this game mechanic. When it came out, I was honestly, like, underwhelmed. Cause like it's kind of boring. Wait, look, <laughs> wait, look at my character. I'm like opening my mouth when I come up here. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, let's get some critters. Also, like you know the big creatures that you can never catch. Those are so goddamn annoying. Cause I remember when they announced this like um, update, people were like, okay, not freaking out, but they like made it seem cooler than it was. But it's honestly kind of boring. I mean, it is kind of chill to, like, deep sea dive during nighttime. Like, that is kind of, like, a calming thing to do, but... Otherwise, not my favorite mechanic in the game. The water does look really pretty, though. It was in the previous game? Yeah. <gasps> I got a scallop! Hey, man. About that scallop of yours. Can I have it? 
Sure, yes, sir. Oh, whoa. Thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me say, lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Feel this. <laughs> he swims up to you and tickles you. <laughs> if 13 is an unlucky number, why do they call it a baker's dozen? That's a free donut, man. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep. Today is a good day. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Stoner thoughts, yeah. <laughs> I mean, can otters live in rivers? I don't think so, right? Hey, another one! What did you see a couple of seconds ago? I don't know. Did I, <laughs> did I say something sus? I mean, I do that all the time. That's part of the brand. Getting all types of new stuff today. The animation just seeing the phone in the water. <laughs> so funny. Okay, okay. I think if any time I say something sus, you guys have to clip it, okay? That's what you gotta do. You guys have to spam, huh? And then clip it. Because, you know, we gotta farm clips, guys. Okay, you know why clipping during a stream is good? Is if because... So, oh, this only is on desktop. There's a bottle right here. If somebody's watching a clip... A little banner will come up saying, Oh, you can watch this person live. So that's why usually on days where I have clips that do well, I get more, like, unique viewers in a stream. It's interesting. Okay. I deep sea dived. Now I need to assess fossils. Dude, look at all the shit I have. I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. I got some. How many did it say I had to do? I think five, right? Oh, I only have eight. Uh-oh. Oh, three. Okay. Yeah, clipping on mobile sucks. That's why, like, if I'm in, if I'm in a stream that I like actively chat or make clips of, I always have to watch on desktop. The only time that I watch on mobile is if it's a stream that I never chatted. Like, I don't really chat in like Hassan stream or like a Tectone stream. Well, sometimes I do, because Tectone's emotes are really good. I because, like, Tectone's branding is, like... Let me see if I can find some of them. Because I, I got gifted in his chat a while ago. And his emotes are pretty solid. Right here. Because, like, his whole branding is, like, an egg. <laughs> the March is a copy of Mizkif March, but it's still good. Like, these ones are pretty solid. <laughs> Because I think, like, if somebody's making their own Twitch emotes, like, you have to have, like, consistent branding around it. Where, like, if somebody sees it, they know whose channel it's from. 
Because, like, if I'm in a stream and an emote stands out, then I'll click on it, and then I see whose channel it's from. So it's kind of like a good way by word of mouth to spread your influence in chat without necessarily self-promoing. I mean, I think Tectone sub emotes are good, but a lot of like the third party 7 TV emotes like his community has made are really good. Because like, he has an artist who makes basically all of his emotes. Um, any artists in chat? <laughs> you want to give me art for free? Wink. Guys, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Giving your art away for free is bad and cringe. Don't do it, don't do it. Wait, I forgot to get coffee. I need to get some coffee. I need to get buzzed. You know how I said, um, not all clips get into the best of monthly? I'm gonna rewatch all the clips that were made for the whole year. And I'll add, like, bonus clips into the best of yearly comp. So there'll be some never-before-seen moments. Because I think Twitch VODs are only up for a max of two months, but clips are forever, I believe. So I think I can still access clips for... From, like, a year ago, I think. Remember when I got coffee in your island? Yeah, I remember that. That was funny how I was the only one who could order coffee. <laughs> I had no idea. I was clueless. I think the people who do drink coffee black are kind of crazy. I can't imagine doing that at all. Like, when I get a coffee... I don't- I- the most coffee coffee drink I'll get is like an iced mocha. And even then, that's sometimes a bit too bitter for me. Like, if I- if I go to like Starbucks or something, I will always get like a refresher. I don't like their coffee. I think the best coffee I've ever had from someplace was like a local coffee shop. I mean, it's a chain, but it's a chain in Washington. But they had like- it was a white mocha lavender. And I got it iced. It was so good. It had, like, actual, like, lavender flowers in it. You made us pay for it? Yeah, I'm not gonna treat you guys all the time. I can't afford it. I gifted you guys a sub today. It's my budget. I told y'all I spent my money for November, so I'm going over budget. Meggy Sports is gonna get really mad at me. They're gonna see the company card and be like, Hey, what are these three charges? Of 554. <laughs> because, of course, a gifted sub includes tax. Two for one. Aw, oh, dude, I hate doing the talk to neighbors mission. Because I like to ignore my neighbors in the hopes that they leave. Okay, next is fishing. I still think fishing is my favorite mechanic in the game. Because it makes me feel like I'm actually gaming. I fucking love gaming. I mean, I don't consider myself a gamer. Like... Not saying that I would stop playing games. 
But if I was at a point to where I could stream whatever I wanted, I wouldn't want gaming to be the main focus. I think doing... Okay, my dream schedule is to do like a planned just chatting stream where I prep graphics, I prep material. Kind of like, not a YouTube essay necess necessarily, but like some type of fun just chatting segment. And then gaming, and then art, but all on one channel. The, the main reason why I do art on the second channel is because art streams are longer and it would kind of lower my numbers when compared to the other streams. So. But if I could do art on this channel, that'd be great. But I think it's also kind of nice to keep it separate. Because, like, if you have too much variety on your channel and you don't have an established platform, it's not good. Because I've heard, like, several anecdotal stories from, like, other smaller streamers who will only stream one game and then they build an audience off of that one game. I think Emmy Beef has talked about this too. How she played a lot of FNAF and she was. This was before I started watching her, mind you, so I don't know the specific numbers, but she was saying she was near partner, but then she stopped playing FNAF because with games like that, you get a, like a lot, a lot of younger people, and that's not good. <laughs> like, you don't want actual, like, of course, 13 year olds watching because this is Twitch your content when that's not a good demographic to like make it sustainable um so once she stopped playing you could say she fell off like of course numbers went down because like your current audience isn't used to new games that's why like since i'm still very small i kind of want to focus more on like my commentary style than necessarily just a game because you can't play one game forever because with variety content, you kind of, <laughs> you can say, force your viewership to enjoy whatever you make. Or they more so like you rather than the content. I.e. the game you're playing. Like, I feel like most active chatters will watch most every stream no matter what the game is. And the hopes is, when you have that core viewership, then it'll grow over time. Like, I'm playing the long game. No, I'm not trying to peek and then fizzle out. TLDR. I'm exploiting everyone. Hashtag real, hashtag dot clickbait. Change the title. What? You know it's true. Oh shit. Let it go. We'll let this one live. Okay, chop down trees. I don't think the fishing is gaming. Super Smash Bros. is gaming. Well, you know what I meant. I meant the most gaming part of the Animal Crossing game. You know what I meant. Okay. We're gonna chop down this tree. I need miles. Is 
See, the game is telling me to do deforestation. It's not my own volition. Dive for more creatures! Oh my god. Back and forth, back and forth. It's never ending. Let's get some more critters. Oh, wait! They gave me a pearl! I was like, how did I get a pearl? It's fall, why did they have you dabbing for creatures in this weather? I mean, it's bright and sunny today. It's not that bad, honestly. That would be a lot worse dabbing during winter. I think the bigger question is how is my hair still perfect? How do I do it? And how are my glasses not fogging up? It's almost like I have protagonist energy. Oh, I think there's a crafting recipe that has octopus in it. I want to like calamari, but I just can't enjoy it. It's way too chewy. I mean, I think the only time I've really had it is like fried calamari. I think I had it on sushi one time, but I just can't get into it. You've never had it? It's pretty aight. Watch should we die for seizure creatures again. We sell a hot item. I can do that. Dude, I only have 10,000 miles. That's so sad. Guys, I fell off. Okay, let's dive to the museum. Because I want to donate these creatures before I forget. I don't think I could ever go on a dive mission. Like, you know, for some touristy things... They have you, like, dive in coral, le coral reefs. One, those are not good because a lot of people damage the coral reefs, so just don't do it. But also, it I feel like it'd be so scary. Like, just the idea of going out to sea. Because, like, if you get tired and you're swimming, it's GG's. I don't think I could ever do it. I can't even wad or wade, like... Past my stomach in the sea. Because I can't swim. And I'd be so scared to use floaties whenever we went to the beach. Because, like, you should never use, like, an inner tube in the ocean. Because if you're floating, you don't know necessarily where the waves will take you. So don't use inner tubes in the ocean. Save those for the pool. Doing all this diving makes me want seafood. I want it bad. I just want food. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the map app won't work when I'm swimming. God damn. Okay, I think right about here is where the museum is. Oh, it's a big one.
I think it's funny how you're still wearing your, like, clothes underneath the wetsuit. Like, you can still see my fish nets. <laughs> and then my heels. Fishing IRL is better? I feel like fishing IRL is so boring. Because, um... During fishing season, we'll see a lot of people, like, fish in the river. In, like... A couple towns over for salmon and it looks like so much like a hassle because they're in the water like up to here lines cast and you know they're not gonna catch anything Because I think the only people who can, like, fish in boats are the, um, Native Americans. In our area, at least. Okay, I think I can sell everything else except for the pearl. Okay, what next? It's kind of funny how, like, the phone is telling you what to do. Oh, a hot item. That was it. I see, like, they're getting lunch. They have a to-go bag. Sad. Okay. Carrot cake or log wall mounted cloth. Let's make the cloth. Yeah, hardwood, iron. You see, like, I I, I'm, like, on the cusp of getting something for lunch. But I, we, I have food to eat. We, I have boiled eggs. I got avocado. I got rice. I don't need to order out. Because, like, once we move out, I'm not gonna be able to afford to eat out. And that's fine. I mean, because, like, when you cook for yourself, it's a lot easier to, like, meal plan and everything. I'm not too bothered. Because so I was talking to my sister and then our roommates the other night. Or it was last night. About, like, our expectations for, like, the budget and stuff. Because, like, the cost per person for food in our area, like... <clears throat> It says like 350 to 450 per person, but that's way too much. That's way too much. So it's like if you're able to like meal prep and like watch your portion sizes, I think cuz like we're going to have a house full of people, right? It's going to be like 4 to 5. Like right now, it's probably just going to be 4, but we're going to have more people moving next year or in the summer. So, I think getting by on like six to seven hundred for the whole house is doable but that's only if we stick to like the meal plan and prep so i was explaining to everybody i was like you know buying snacks is not part of the budget if you want to buy like chips or candy for yourself that's your own money and then they were like well can we still eat out i'm like yeah you can still eat out but that's part of your money you know you're not going to take from the community pool to go out and eat. That's not fair. Because $30 is... How much of 600 20%? No. 2%? No, I need to... I can't do it in my head. Let's see. 6 or... 30 divided by 600. Oh, 5%. Okay, 5% is not a lot, but still, it's a good handful. Oh, bye, Mac! Boiled eggs are yucky. Okay, do, if you like a runny egg yolk, like an over medium or an over easy egg, try making like soft boiled eggs. Because a soft boiled egg is where you boil it for like five to seven minutes. 
instead of like eight to ten that way the white is still fully cooked and then you get a runny yolk it's really good I do agree, the texture is between like a boiled egg and then like a regular fried egg is drastically different. Because I used to hate fried eggs, but I love boiled eggs, which is weird. But now I like everything. If I could eat eggs every day, I would. And I still have my wetsuit on. <laughs> like all of the all of the kinds except for those two what damn i guess you're hard to impress then ten flowers Oh, remember when I used to water the garden every day? <laughs> I don't do that shit anymore. Oh, I should talk to neighbors. We got two right here. I see you have a to-go bag. Wait. Sorry, I skipped through what he said, but he said, Buongiorno. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been touching up on my Spanish. That's not a good joke, Nintendo. Not very nice. <laughs> oh my god, why is she so mad? Well, well, Megan. Long time no chat. We are on speaking terms, aren't we? I feared something was amiss between us, but I'm pleased to see I was wrong. It's good to talk again. See, it's funny because when you don't talk to them, they get mad or sad, and it's really funny. Okay, I need to take my wetsuit off. It's probably making people uncomfortable. <gasps> oh no! Of course you'd get sick. Look at your house, my guy. It's not like I have a stockpile of medicine laying around. Gotta try and power through this. I'll get you some medicine, my fine sir. Okay, the first time I, like, gave medicine to a sick villager, I felt so smart. I was like, oh my god, I solved the puzzle. But it's honestly pretty straightforward, because he literally said, get me, he basically said, get me some medicine. Dude, I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder. Let's take this all. Do more DIYs? Easy. Dude, I'm speedrunning. I just remembered yesterday I was talking about I was like ooh I like streams when there's no dead air you know I try to talk the whole time I'm barely talking today <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> you know why you know why it's because my dad is home he's usually home anyway but he's like watching videos in the living room and I know he can hear me so I'm like I gotta be quiet All of my dad's recommended videos on YouTube, it's like tractor videos, like farming videos, mind you, not like 
baby child tractor videos and then like what's it called when you see like when people get pulled over and then they're like oh these are actually my rights like you know like the free thinkers <laughs> watching a lot of those videos <laughs> i'm like what to actually do if you get pulled over and it's really funny to me i need to deliver the medicine After I hit the rock. But like, I'm genuinely scared if I ever do get pulled over. Like, I know there's so much like prejudices between like POC and especially in our like local police forces, there has been cases where like our police force has killed the people. Sag. So that's always like an underlying fear that I have if I do start driving. So it's just like, hmm. Like, I know some people hate doing public transit, but I like it a lot. Like, not having to worry about, like, driving and the other people in the vehicle. I can just lay back in the back of the bus and chill. There we go, they're much better. Am I not a good neighbor? <laughs> I was gonna say like a jingle, but I was like, no free promo. <laughs> Assess more fossils? Good thing I saved them. See, that's what my parents do with my sister, too. They'll, they will, like, sneak in food that they know we don't like. Like, what was it? Like, the night I made kill soup, I put, like, shredded squash into it. But once you boil squash, it's, like, basically, like, when you boil carrots in soup, like, it dissipates. And then another time, my mom made chicken, and she put, like, really finely chopped nuts in it. Because it was part of the sauce, and my sister liked it. My sister hates nuts. So we were like, got him. Did I donate all my fossils? Uh oh. Oh, I got two. Whew. I mean, I think it's fine to, like, deceive your children a little bit. Because otherwise, they'd never read it. Oh, I did see a video today of, like, this parent whose, like, kid is super picky. So they got them. It was called, like, an interactive plate. So it was like a little like plate that was basically a tray and it was like dinosaur themed. So like each little, and it was like textured to look like a toy basically. And then it had like this little plastic contraption where it had like a little, like a tiny like bucket and you put the sauce in it and then you tip the bucket and then you pretend it's lava going on top of the food. Dude, it was so cute. But just, like, something like that. I know, like, they say you shouldn't play with your food, but, like, when the kids are young, it's, like, might as well, like, make it a bit more fun. Especially if it's for a food they don't necessarily like. Oh, my God. What was it called? You know those paper plates that were, like, shaped like animals? Dude, I love those. I was gonna sk say skill animals, but no, that's not it. That's something else. Those are like the plushies that were themed like skeletons. But also animals. Danimals, no. No, Danimals is the yogurt. Catch more fish? Jeez. They're making me do the same thing over and over. I had a dream where I got purple windflowers and I was so happy. But now I have no purple windflowers and I'm sad.
here. I think I have all the mums. Because the only colors I don't have... I don't have blue or purple windflowers. Um... I need more purple tulips. I don't have blue roses yet. And then... I need gold roses. But I need to work on actually decorating. Which I know I keep saying... But I am. I decorate and work in terraform off stream. Of course I do. Why would I lie to you? I would never do such a thing. Ooh, water produce? I can do that. Easy. I need to harvest these. <laughs> I do like the setup I have to where I just have like the whole second level. It's just produce, but it's very overwhelming to harvest. Like, I think the other night I just harvested my wheat. And it, even then, I barely touched the surface. Because I have pumpkins here. And I never water them, because I have no need. I have tomatoes, carrots. Let's pluck these weeds right here real quick. <laughs> That's cute, Luigi. See, like, I feel like our palates definitely mature as we get older. Like, I'm definitely more prone to, like, trying vegetables now, but it's still not my favorite. Like, my sister likes, um, she used to, okay. I think my favorite donuts have to be, like, the Boston Crunch. Any donut that has a filling in it is automatically good, okay? But my sister, for the longest time, she would only eat chocolate-covered sprinkled donuts, okay? She would refuse to try anything else. But now she likes the Boston cream. And of course, it was a surprise because she doesn't like eggs. And the cream is basically custard, which is like an egg base, right? Because whipped cream, like, you know, whipped topping, it's egg whites. So, because my dad got a dozen donuts the other day. And I saw her eating the cream ones. And I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, I like these now. And I'm like... No, Because you know whenever you get a dozen donuts, they never put like a box full of the good ones. They always give you like two twists, like three of the cinnamon ones, which nobody fucking likes, one jelly, one cream, and the rest sprinkle. So it's just like, you never get the good shit. And it's maddening. That's a char? The fuck is a char? Like a char grill? I clicked the wrong thing? Over here, right? River. Cliff top? Oh, I'm never gonna catch that. I don't have any water up top, I don't think. They said they were gonna try eggs every single year. Well, you better hold them to it. No, no, no. What you gotta do, what you gotta do is you'll be like, if you try eggs, then I will eat a boiled egg with you. And they'll be like, but I know you hate boiled eggs. And then you'll be like, I know. But I want you to enjoy them as well. That way you both can suffer. <laughs> Oh my god. Finally. Ah, uh, not a big fish. But will it work? Maybe. Doesn't hurt to try. You can offer them a, a deal. You can piece a two shake with them.
I do make deals with my sister all the time. I remember when we were younger, we obviously had assigned chores, right? Like, my chores were dishes and bathroom. Hers were dusting and sweeping. And I would always try and make deals with her to not do the bathroom. I'd be like, hey, I will dust and sweep. But you gotta do the bathroom. And she'd be like, okay. But then, of course, our mom would overhear us talking, right? And then she'd be like, hey, don't make deals with Megan. <laughs> They're never gonna be good for you. And I'd be like, come on. Because, like, my mom know I, knew I hated doing the bathroom, right? And she would just, like, play with us. Like, it was never, she would never, like, use it in a mean way. But she'd be like, don't make deals with Megan. Because, like, when I think of making deals, I think, like, Rumple Stillskin, right? And that's kind of the joke my mom would make all the time. But I have too much junk. You know what else I have? An ad for some chatters. Because, guys, we are three hours into stream. So it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But... You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're going to keep, we'll finish the last few, like, Nook Miles missions we had, and then we'll do you off loose. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe, easy clap. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I need to get these fish caught. Otherwise, they will rot. <laughs> you know when people do like impromptu like rap battles? They always hyper focus on needing to run. I think that makes it so much more cringe. I like when raps are more like spoken verse poems. Or like when you're writing poems in high school and like Okay, I feel like everybody ha has a poetry union unit. And then you gotta perform it in front of the class, right? I I remember for the poem that I had, it was for senior English. It was like really deep and heavy. And then I like bailed the day out. I was like, no, I cannot perform this in front of class. Because it was talking about like social dynamics in the household. And I was like, no, I can't do it. I can't. So I quickly, I quickly wrote up one. It was so cringe. It was like rhymes every single line. It was so bad. It was so bad. Okay, let's sell our stuff and finish these last few missions. Do you think you can hear? I don't know, are you using headsets or are you playing speakerphone? Huh? I usually only play videos on speakerphone if my, my bedroom door is closed. Otherwise, I usually have headsets in. Because I don't want people to hear what I'm listening to. Not that I'm listening to bad things. It's just I want to be respectful, you know? Because my mom and my dad, they will play videos on full volume. Like on my dad's laptop or my mom's phone. So you can hear it from literally across the house. Like, if I open my bedroom door right now, I can hear him watching his tractor videos. And it's annoying. Like, my mom doesn't necessarily like when I wear her headsets all the time. But it's just like, I know she doesn't want to hear my music. So it's like, either you hear my music or you have headphones. Pick one. Okay, let's go ahead and save here. We are up, I think, 2,000 miles to the cost of one Nook Miles ticket. Dude, it's still crazy to think that 2,000 tickets is worth, like, $5. That's insane. The market is crashing. <laughs> okay, wait, I gotta get my headphones. I, like, threw them across my bed.
I did not throw them. That was just a phrase. Okay, so Chaz. Let's get you laugh, you freaking loose up. Yes, I am British now. Okay, let me change my title. There we go. Okay. Okay. Wait, okay. <laughs> now we're ready. <laughs> you guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. You guys ready? Damn, she going wild. I was trying to show my mom what my friend got. Oh! Holy fuck. Ayo? Question mark? Ew. Which one? Dude, five head. Put that into its rivals. Bro was hungry. Literally, hack it. You can tidy it up later on. See, that's a nice straight line. <laughs> hey, make sure not to lean your chair, buddy. <laughs> not laughing. Drinking the M&M potion at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh. Dude, I've done that. Not with wine, of course, but a different drink was banging. Drop him. Tell me, stop kissing your cat. That was weird. Wholesome, but weird. Oh no, those are the eggs! <laughs> Homie died.
I made this new drink. It tastes like chocolate covered strawberries and it's a strawberry shake with mocha in it. Here's an inside look. What's in there? <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> he was like waterboarding the other cat! Oh my god. Dude, why so many fucking kissing animals today? What the fuck? became a sex symbol did you know that were you aware of that yes and what was that like yes this guy landed in the middle of the road <laughs> oh <laughs> i just learned today that you're supposed to put your silverware in the drawer on its side I welcome in fall. Change. Come on, four quarters. You already know the line. Oh, I got an extra one. Oh, wait, wait. What the fuck? What? <laughs> oh, it's popcorn. I thought it was like a ceramic sculpture. Wait. <laughs> Oh my god, we have people do that at our talent show too. Okay, that one was good. Anybody get got anybody laugh? That one was good. Weird amount of like kissing animals, I will admit. It's very weird. Very weird. Okay, so, chaos. We did get a gifted sub today. So we do get to do calligraphy. So if anybody is new to stream, anybody who donates or uses their channel points gets their name written. So I'm going to get some music on and we'll do calligraphy. And, um, fall, I'm still gonna write your name because I don't take requests for calligraphy. But I appreciate your renaming. Okay. Sorry, I did not mean to clip. Let's see if the cam is working. Yo, it works! Okay. So, like I said, anybody who donates or uses their channel points because of the written. Also, gentle reminder, anybody who gifts five subs by the end of the month, you get a custom portrait card. Like this, or this. Okay, let's change our title as well.
Okay, let's do Mac first. Okay, we had not Mac with one gifted to the channel. Once again, thank you, Mac. Okay, and then on to channel coin names, we had two people. We had Paul and then Potato. Okay, let's do blue for fall. Okay, we had blue fall 99. And then potato with their channel points as well. This will be the last name of the day, guys. Last call. Okay, I'm changing the order real quick. Because it's hard for me to pick up the pens this way. There we go. We had potato. <clears throat> and that 
were all the names we have for today. So, last call. If anybody else wants the name written, you can donate or use your channel points. Let's go. Also, no raid. Nobody's live today. Or not, not that nobody's live. Wait, why the fuck does Hassan have 70k viewers? Holy. Oh, he's covering the midterms, Lamau. That's why. <laughs> okay. Dude, should we raid Hassan? <laughs> Okay, guys, you guys, you guys, let's end it here. Let's end it here. <laughs> okay, so I would like to thank everybody who watched. Any chatters, lurkers, I appreciate you all. Um, thank you to Mac for gifting a sub to the chat room today. I appreciate you, Mac. Thank you. I will be live again tomorrow, same time at 11 a.m. PST with Eastward. So. I believe last week, oh, the Miasma came in and we defeated it, but then it's back again. So we have to see what'll happen tomorrow in Eastward. So, before I go, if everybody watching right now could go follow my art channel, it's PSIN underscore art on Twitch, you can click the banner in chat to go follow for free. Right now, I'm working on this painting offline. I'm probably going to work on this tonight, actually, because I'm almost done. I just need to add a second coat of black. Then it'll be finished. But uh, we'll be live on the art channel again on Friday. And we'll be finishing this painting. You can see it's got some hollow on it already. But we'll be filling in the black background and then adding hollow to the colored section. So that'll be on Friday, guys. So go follow, turn notifications on, that we get pinged when that stream goes live. Okay, last thing is if you are watching and you enjoyed the stream, make sure you're following and and have goal identification to turn on that way you get a notification right when I go live. And last thing, make sure you guys are following my offline social media. If you follow my Twitter, you can get live updates about stream. Follow my IG for pictures and then TikTok for daily clips from stream. So make sure you're following all three. Okay? Okay. Um I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So thank you everybody who watched. I will see you all tomorrow. I know today was a bit more chill. But I'm glad it's a bit more chill. I like the more chill days. I like the nice, like, normal streams. Honestly. They're, they're comforting. I like structure. I like schedule. So it was a good day. Okay. Um, like I said, plan for this week. Eastward tomorrow. Galaxy Thursday. Arch June Friday. And then maybe. Maybe. Tournament on Saturday. For Mario Kart, maybe. Cross my fingers it doesn't get cancelled again. Um, I was looking at my schedule and I think I should still be able to do the Mario Kart on the last Sunday of the month. Maybe we can do Mario Party on Sunday. We'll see. It just depends on if I'm busy or not. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter if we do do Mario Party for the second Mega Sports on Sunday. So make sure you're following my Twitter. Okay. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.